That's what's going on. So good morning and welcome to Toddler Time. Again, my name is Miss Carly. We're here to do some stories together. This program is best designed for children's ages two to three with a, a grown up or a caregiver um, to do all the songs and stories and rhymes along with them. So the first thing we like to do during toddler time is make a few predictions, right? So I'm gonna show you guys some of the books we're gonna read today and you guys see if you can guess what we're gonna be talking about, okay? My first book I have today is called Bear Snores On. He snores. Can you guys snore? Yeah. Hmm. So we see a bear, a very sleepy bear. He's very sleepy. He doesn't even see his friends there. I have a book called Time to Sleep. What kind of animals on the cover here? That's right. That's another bear. Hmm. And I have a book called Where's Bear? What do you guys think we might be talking about today? That's right, we're going to be talking about bears and bears specifically that hibernate. So we're going to be talking about bears and animals that hibernate today. Do you guys know the word hibernate? Have you heard that word before? Some of you have, yeah. Hibernate means that the bears eat and eat and eat and eat, and eat, and eat a whole lot in the fall, right? <laughs> And then when winter comes, they sleep the whole time, right? They're very sleepy and they stay asleep and wait until spring comes because there's not enough food outside in winter. So they sleep instead. That sounds kind of fun, but maybe I wouldn't feel like I missed out on a few things. Now, before we get started with our books, let's sing our welcome song together. So I invite you all to stand up if you'd like to and as you're able for us to sing a, our welcome song. Oops. I'm out of practice on this one, okay, so there we go. Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me, it's so much fun to sing. Can you guys stomp with me? Come along and stomp with me, stomp with me, stomp with me. Come along and stomp with me, it's so much fun to stomp. Let's shrug. Come along and shrug with me, shrug with me, shrug with me. Come along and shrug with me, it's so much fun to shrug. Let's jump. Come along and jump with me, jump with me, jump with me. Come along and jump with me, it's so much fun to jump. Can we spin? Come along and spin with me, spin with me. Spin with me, come along and spin with me. It's so much fun to spin. Let's sway, come along and sway with me. Sway with me, sway with me. Come along and sway with me. It's so much fun to sway. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's finish with a nice big, come along and wave with me, wave with me wave with me come along and wave with me it's so much fun to wave good morning good morning to all of my friends so again for those of you who are a little bit late joining we're talking about bears and hibernation today so let's do a little rhyme to get all ready to sit down can you do this with me can you show me your hands ready this is big 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 this is small 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 this is short 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 and this is tall 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 this is fast and this is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. And this is no, no, no. Let's do that one more time, but a little bit different. Okay, ready? This is big, big, big. And this is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. And this is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. And this is slow, slow, slow. I can turn around and around. And I can sit down really, really slow. And you guys can take a seat if you'd like with your grown up or on the floor, wherever you're comfy, for our first book today, which is called Bear Snores On. Do you guys see the bear on the cover? What about some other animals? Do you see some other animals? Yeah, see a raven 
and a hare and a mole and a badger. You guys are right, there's lots of animals there. Now this book is by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chatham. And it's read with permission from uh, Margaret Craig, Kate McElderry Books. What do you guys see here? What's your scene right there? What's that? That's right, it's a cave. Who do you think could be in the cave? Maybe our bear friend? I think you might be right. Bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, in his deep, dark lair. That's another word for a den where the bears are. Through the long, cold winter sleeps a great brown bear. Do you see the bear? He's all cozy in his lair, isn't he? Yeah. Huddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold wind howls and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. Shh, can you guys snore? Yeah. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat, tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from <laughs> the fluff cold snow. You see the mouse? Yeah, there he is. He's teeny tiny. Mouse squeaks too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. What did that mouse make? Yeah, he made a little fire to keep himself warm, right? The coals pit pop and the wind doesn't stop, but the bear snores on. Shh. Two glowing eyes. Who do you think that is? That's hair. He's like a rabbit. Yeah. Sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hair pops in. Who, oh, mouse says hair, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they blue, brew black tea. Oh, they're going to have popcorn and tea. That sounds like a cozy thing to do on a winter night, doesn't it? Yeah. Mouse sips, wee slurps. <laughs> And hair burps, big burps, bleh. but the bear snores on. He sleeps through all that noise, even the burps. A badger scuttles by, sniff snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums, perhaps we can share. I brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down, and dig in. Oh, yum, honey nuts, that sounds tasty. And they nibble and they munch with a chew and a chomp and a crunch, but the bear snores on. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor, then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. This cave is getting crowded, isn't it? Mole mutters, what a night, what a storm, twitters wren, and everybody clutter clutters in the great bear's den. They're all gathered around the fire there, staying warm. They tweet and they twitter, they chat and they chitter, but the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Oh no, that sleepy bear is missing it. Hair stokes the You've snuck in my lair and you've all had fun, but me, I was sleeping and I have had none. Any whimpers, any moans, any wails, any groans, and the bear blubbers, he cries on. <laughs> Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss, look, see, we can pop more corn, we can brew more tea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles, he sighs with delight, then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, Bear can't sleep, but his friends snore on. They all got tired having that big party, huh? Oh my goodness, that's exciting.
All righty, guys. Well, let's do a little game together today. What do you think? I have here some layers and some dens that belong to animals that hibernate in the winter. And we're gonna play a guessing game to see if we can't figure out who's hiding in each of these holes. So this first one is called a den or a lair. Who do we think might be in there? What do you think? Who did we just read about? He goes, grrr. That's right, it's a bear. So let's sing a song to get him to come out, okay? We'll sing, where is bear, where is bear? In his den, there he is, in his den. Staying warm and cozy, staying warm and cozy until spring, until spring. Hmm, now this one is a picture of the ground. And this animal is a kind of insect that goes buzz, and it has yellow and black stripes. It's a bee, that's right, you guys are so smart. So let's sing to see if we can't get the bee to come out. We'll sing, where's the bee, where's the bee? Underground, underground, staying warm and cozy, staying warm and cozy until spring until spring. We'll say bye to the bee and we'll move on to our next one. We have a big rock here and this animal, hmm, it's long and it's skinny and it makes a sound that goes hiss. Who goes hiss? Snake, that's right. So let's sing, where's the snake? Where's the snake? Under the rock, under the rock. Staying warm and cozy, staying warm and cozy until spring, until spring. Good job, guys. Hmm. Here I have a frozen pond. Somebody's hiding under there. They sleep way down in the mud until spring. They are green and they start off as tadpoles and they like to jump a lot and they go ribbit, ribbit. Who could that be? Ribbit. That's a frog, that's right. Where's the frog? Where's the frog? Under the pond, under the pond. Staying warm and cozy, staying warm and cozy until spring, until spring ribbit, right? Now we have a cave. Who could be in the cave? Hmm, these animals like to hibernate in groups. They can fly, but they're not birds. They come out at night and they go, eek, 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 eek. Hmm. It's the bat, that's right. Where's the bat? Where's the bat? In his cave, in his cave. Staying warm and cozy, staying warm and cozy until spring, until spring. And our last animal here is in this hole right here. Let's see, these animals, they like to dig burrows. They have some stripes on their side, they're brown. They kind of look like squirrels, but they're not squirrels. They're a little smaller and they like to stuff their cheeks really full of food. Like, who do you think that might be? Who is this? That's chipmunk, that's right. Where's the chipmunk, where's the chip? monk in his hole, in his hole, staying warm and cozy, staying warm and cozy until spring, until spring. Good job, guys. So let's take a minute and read our next story. Maybe we'll see some of those animals or maybe we'll see some different ones who also hibernate in this book called Time to Sleep. And this is written and illustrated by Denise Fleming. Who do we see on the front here? It's a big bear, exactly. Time to sleep. And this is read with permission from Henry Holt and Company. Bear sniffed once. She sniffed twice. I smell winter in the air, said Bear. It's time to crawl into my cave and sleep. But first, I must tell Snail. <gasps> Do you guys see Snail? He's really, she's really tiny there. Can you see her by Bear's nose? It's right, right there, teeny tiny. Snail was slowly slithering up one leaf and down another. Snail, Rumble Bear, winter is in the air. It is time to seal your shell and sleep. Snail, stop slithering. You are right there, said Snail. This morning there was frost on the grass. It is time to sleep, but first I must tell. Who do we have to tell? Who's that? 
Skunk! Scritch, scratch, scratch. Skunk was busy digging grubs. Skunk, winter is on the way, said Snail. It is time for you to curl up in your den and sleep. Skunk looked up. The leaves on the trees were yellow and red. All right, said Skunk, I will sleep, but first I must tell. Who's that? Turtle! Turtle was off on a ramble. Stop, Turtle, cried Skunk. I have news. Winter is on the way. Turtle blinked. Winter? Yes, winter, said Skunk. It is time for you to dig down deep and sleep. The days have been growing shorter, muddled Turtle. It is time to sleep, but first I must tell. Oh, is it? Turtle trudged up to tell Woodchuck. He is in a big hill like this. Woodchuck called Turtle. Winter is on its way. It is time for you to burrow down and sleep. There's Woodchuck. There he is. Thank goodness, said Woodchuck with a sigh. My skin is so tight. I could not eat another bite. Uh, he ate so much food to get ready for winter that he's very full, right? I am ready to sleep, but first I must tell Ladybug. Can you guys see Ladybug here? She's a little hard to spot. Right there up on the branch. Teeny tiny Ladybug. Ladybug was perched high on a branch in a maple tree. Ladybug called Woodchuck. <clears throat> Winter is on its way. Ladybug flew over Woodchuck's head. The leaves are falling from the tree, said Woodchuck. It is time for you to slip under a log and sleep. All right, said Ladybug, but first I must tell Bear. Bear was softly snoring in her cave. <sighs> Bear, cried Ladybug, wake up, wake up. Bear grumbled and rolled over. The sky is full of geese honking goodbye, cried Ladybug. Winter is on its way, Bear. Bear opened one eye, and then she opened the other. What, growled Bear. It is time to crawl into your cave and sleep, said Ladybug. Ladybug, grumbled Bear. I am in my cave. I am asleep. Oh, dear, said Ladybug. I am so sorry, Bear. Please go back to sleep. Bear rolled over and closed her eyes. Ladybug slipped under a log nearby. Good night, Bug, said Bear. Good night, Bear, said Ladybug. Good night, Woodchuck. Good night, Turtle. Good night, Skunk. Good night, Snail. Good night, everyone. See you in the spring. Awesome job, guys. All righty. Oh, let me just let it print in here. There we go. So let's all stand on up as we're able to, because we're going to do one more song together today, OK? So it goes something like this. Can you get your hands ready to grr like a bear, right, grr? We'll go, grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. And they all went grr, grr, grr. But we know bears go huggy, huggy, hug. Huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug. We know bears go huggy, huggy, hug. They don't go grr, grr, grr. That's so silly. Okay, hmm, what other animals hibernate? How about a frog? Do you guys know what the frog says? Let's see, they say something kind of like with their tongue shooting out like, mm, eh, or ribbit, right? But some of them go, mm, eh, right? So we'll go, mm, eh, went the little green frog one day. Mm, eh, went the little green frog. Mm, eh, went the little green frog one day. And they all went, mm, mm, eh. But we know frogs go, sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na. Sha na 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 na, we know frogs go. Sha na 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 na, they don't go. Mm mm eh. That's so silly. Oh my goodness. And let's think. Hmm, what's another animal that hibernates? Let's think of one. How about a snake? Right. So let's go. Hiss hiss went the long green snake one day. Hiss hiss went the long green snake. Hiss hiss. Went the long green snake one day, and they all want hiss, hiss, hiss. But we know frogs, snakes go jumpy, jumpy, jump, jumpy, jumpy, jump, jumpy, jumpy, jump. We know snakes go jumpy, jumpy, jump. They don't go hiss, hiss, hiss. That's so silly. They do go hiss, hiss, right? 
let's think of one more animal that goes and hibernates. We just saw a turtle, right? Alrighty. So we'll have to go really slow to be a turtle, right? We'll go slow, slow went the green turtle one day. Slow, slow went the green turtle. Can you be in your shell? Slow, slow went the green turtle one day. And they all went slow, slow, slow. But we know turtles go cowabunga, dude. Cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude, we know turtles go. Cowabunga dude, they don't go slow, slow, slow. Good job, guys. Good job. And let's finish with our last book today, which is called Bear in Hair, Where's Bear? Do you guys think you can help me find Bear in this book? Where's Rabbit looking? Do you think Bear's in there? No, he won't fit in that boot. He's way too big. This is by Emily Gravitt. And it's read with permission from Simon and Schuster. Bear and Hare are playing hide and seek. Do you guys count when you play hide and seek? Can you help me count to 10? What do you think, guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is Bear? Where do you think he is? There! Where is he? Is that a very good hiding spot? No, he's much wider than that lamp. You can see him pretty easy. Let's play again, okay? Where is Bear? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is Bear? Where is he? There! Hiding behind the books. Oh my gosh, he's too tall to hide behind those books, isn't he? We can see him pretty easy. Let's count again, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's Bear? Oh, Bear, where is he hiding? He's behind the fish tank. You can see right through it, though. So there he is. This bear is very silly. Maybe hair should try hiding instead. So can we count with bear now? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's hair? Is he inside the teapot? No, he wouldn't fit in there. Is he under the rug? No. Behind the picture? No! Silly bear. Maybe hair is under the blanket. Where's bear? Did he fall asleep under that blanket? Oh no, there's hair. He was under the bed. Is he under the lampshade? No. Behind the books? No. Is he in a fish tank? Splash, splash, splash. No. Where is bear? I want Bear! He was sleeping in that bed, wasn't he? He fell asleep during their game, silly Bear. There, and a big bear hug, right? Nice. The end. Alrighty, guys, it's time for you to grab your grown-up if they're um, around with you today, or if not, you can copy me and jump because we're going to go to the moon. Grown-ups, this is the part where we lift our kids over our heads as we're able. Um, and again, if you're not uh, up to the test, then feel free to jump along with me. So can you guys get your engines ready? We're going to rev our engines. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Alrighty, let's go to the stars. Ready? Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Oh, I blasted into the ceiling. It's low in here.
there. Alrighty, one last trip to the sun, ready? Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Good job, guys! All right, and it's time for our goodbye song today now. Let's refresh our memory. Alrighty, all this time we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All this time we worked and played, and now our time is done. Well done, right? Wave goodbye to all our friends, all our friends, all our friends. Wave goodbye to all our friends until we meet again. Thank you so much for coming today, guys. I had a really good time uh, reading and singing and dancing with you. Um, we'll be back.